Main important thing, guys, is I'm telling you, we need to make sure that we have these graphs completed. So the blue, I'm going to give in the blue graph. So again, you know from what we did looking at Desmos that this graph looks like this. Right? So now, again, guys, if all we're doing is x minus 3 for any function is going to be shifting to overwrite 3. Now, 1, 2, 3, all we're doing is the graph is just changing to look like this. So as we're approaching 3, positive 3 from the left, here's positive 3. As we're approaching from the left, what, is that supposed to, what should that equal? What is this value? Still negative 1. OK? Let's look at the sine of x function, sine of x over x. Remember the blue graph that we looked at. Has that, boom, 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 then oscillate, boom, 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 boom. OK? So now what's happening? It's being x plus 2. That means the graph is being shifted to the left 2. So move it to the left 2. Same graph, just being oscillated a little bit. So now as I'm approaching negative 2, so the limit of negative 2 from the right is still going to equal, what value is it getting really, really close to? 1. Remember, there's a hole there, right? Remember, there's a hole. So this plus 2, plus 2, all it's doing is shifting the graph. So that's going to be at 1. Uh, let's look at the reciprocal function. When we looked at the reciprocal function 1 over x, the graph looked like this. Right? From the right, it went to infinity. From the left, it went to negative infinity. So now we have this plus 4. So what does that do? That just shifts the graph to the left 4. So now the graph looks like this, and then it goes down like that. So they're saying, what is it from negative 4? So as we're approaching negative 4 from the left-hand side, where are we going? To negative infinity. And then last but not least is the radical. So when we have a radical function, this looks something like this. But now we have x minus 1, so that's shifting the graph one unit to the right. So what they're saying is, evaluate positive 1 from the left-hand side. So as you're getting closer and closer to 1 from the left, but remember, what was on the left-hand side of everything? It was, it was undefined, right? So therefore, this limit does not exist. OK? So I told you, what I gave you guys is